Yo, this is crazy as hell, man. I used to know a dude with this similar situation. Crazy. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, mirror, what is wrong? Can it be my daylight clothes or is it just my daylight song? What I see is make believe. People say I sit and try, but when it comes to being daylight, it's just me, myself, and I. I, I. It sure is hot outside. But you know what's funny is y'all are free. You can go ahead and walk away anytime you'd like. A lot of y'all complain about slavery, reparations, and what the white man did to you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, y'all still take advantage of the opportunities you get from being on a democratic plantation. Hey, y'all just mad because I get three can food stamps. So what? I get all kinds of snacks while I'm sitting here chilling or whatever, paying no bills. No bills. I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks. Government assistance, three can't fool. You're bragging about that? That's something that you're proud of, that the government and tax-paying citizens now have to step up and become your baby daddy? Because you have seven kids with seven different men. I'm glad you got all the necessities you needed with those food stamps. We got Reese's, Twix. Yes, you heard me right. Seven kids with seven different baby daddies. My love, if your legs did a little more of this, and a little less of this, and you walk down to fill out an application and clock into a job, you would have less spare time on your hands to continue popping these children out, which you clearly see as paychecks, money-making machines, gold mines. I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it, you heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K. 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's gonna be haters. You know, people gonna be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments. But at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. That all that matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all, peace. What I will say before we continue is I'm truly happy that your kids are taken care of and they have food on the table. They should not have to suffer because you're irresponsible and you clearly don't believe in contraceptives. There is nothing wrong with food stamps or government assistance. Everybody's going to need to reach out for help at least once in their life and that's what it's there for, to assist you in getting back on your feet. It is not a permanent solution or permanent funding to your poor life decisions or because you're too lazy to go out and get a job. One deadbeat baby dad, shame on him. Two deadbeat baby dads. All right, let me do a little self-reflecting and see where I can make some some changes in the men that I'm choosing. Three, wrap it up, my love. But no, you continue to have four more kids with four different men. Seven kids that I truly feel sorry for because you clearly view them as gold mines. And then I go to your TikTok page and all of your content is exploiting them for monetary gain once again. And then if the government assistance ever does disappear for her, it's gonna be, oh my God, the system's against me. Cause da, 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 da. No, babes, you're against yourself. You have self-sabotaged yourself. And instead of trying to do better and use this as an assistance program, you're relying solely on that. Unfortunately, this is the example you're setting for your children as well. And this shit is generational. It's going to trickle down the bloodline. There's no hate to this creator, to the family. I'm glad that the kids are fed because it is not their fault. Here's the thing, you reap what you sow, okay? You said people are jealous. People are not jealous. People are mad, probably for the fact that you're receiving $36,000 a year just for EBT food stamps. And you're definitely not the only household that's doing this, but one of the only ones that I've seen on social media bragging about it as if it's something to be proud of. That's a lot of money, a lot of money that doesn't just come out of thin air and a lot of money that could be used towards other things. All right, y'all, you guys know what to do now. Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think about this video that we reacted to today. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. I don't know. I, I think I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little jealous. Cause you know, I get up every morning to go to work. Sometimes every night to go to work, depending on what the schedule is, what I need to do. I gotta go to work, you know what I mean? I bust my ass and she ain't gotta bust her ass. She gets $3,000 in EBT. I mean, it's just EBT, but still, you know what I mean? In a month's pay, I 
bank bought three thousand as well. So I don't know. I'm a little jealous, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I, I'll never be at that point where I need DBT. So whatever, I guess, right? I just had to point this one out. It's your boy Kane Chiro. Thank you for watching. Remember that you're loved, and remember to be great every day because tomorrow is never promised. Peace out, y'all. Every day you wake up, you got a decision to make. To go right or left, up or down, right or wrong. At the end of the day, you make the decision. Nobody forces you. So make the right decision. Make moves. Set the goals. Stop making excuses, man. And if it look like a duck, walk like a duck, and sound like a duck, it's a duck. Stop guessing. Just do the right thing. You heard? You hear me? I love y'all. Stay positive. Love one another. All right. <laughs> I think let's look at the facts. I mean, Lyndon Johnson created a so-called great society. It's the biggest misnomer in modern political history. That wasn't a very great society for the very black people it was supposed to help. Paid mothers government money to have an incentive to get the dad out of the house so they could make more money. Uncle Sam's better for me than you over here. Maybe I'll marry him instead. So how you get to over 70% of black kids being born into two-parent households in the 1960s to less than 30% today, you get what you pay for.